What is up guys? So this is gonna be an exciting episode for me because I finally got my dream set of rims. And um, a little bit of a backstory, um, I've been searching for this reams for slightly over a year and a half. Uh, I was supposed to get a, another set um, about four months ago and um, a quick story on it was like um, the seller and I agreed on a deal and uh, we were about to go through with it and I was trying to pay him and he kind of backed out the deal without informing me so he sold the rims to somebody else and yeah, I was pretty bummed about that because it was a pretty good deal. But I'm not bummed anymore because I got another set here and I got an even better deal out of it. And I'll be telling you guys the story how I found it. So stay tuned nearing the end of the video where I show you the dream set of rims and tell you the backstory on how I got it. But in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you two other sets of rims that I have that could potentially be on the car we'll see so yeah let's cut to the next frame where i have the first set of rims beside me okay so this is the first set of rims that i'm going to be showing you guys for those of you that know what it is good for you i'm just going to tell the rest of the world that doesn't know what that is um, these are a set of work wheels they are workmeisters Yes, Workmeisters S2R. Um, people commonly associate the word or the name Workmeisters with this set of rims. Um, um, but those are actually S1Rs. These are still Workmeisters, but they are S2Rs. They're a different variant, a different design. So, yeah, but they still belong to the family of Workmeisters. Um, Quick story on this wheel, um, I got it together with the car, um, previous owner used to head it on the car, um, gave them to me free when I bought the car. Um, specs on this wheels are 18 inches by 10J plus 15 offset, so they're definitely, uh, it's definitely pretty aggressive for a stock body. S13, you guys definitely have to go wide body just to fit this rims. Um, I don't see myself running this particular set ever, so yeah, just because I have um, another set of rims that I really like to run on the car, which I have here, uh, laying on the floor right there. So yeah, so if you guys out there are looking for a set of Workmeisters S2R, um, hit me up, man. Um, DM me on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook. You know where to find me. Just look for me in the description. And I could probably hook you guys up for a really good price. Uh, yeah. So let's move on to the next set of rims. So this is the second set of rim that I want to show you guys. Um, some of you guys already know what this is. It's not rotors. Um, these are Nismo LMG T4s. Uh, they are not the engraved version. Um, you still have the Nismo sticker on it. Uh, it's no longer around. Uh, no big deals. I could just get a replacement set for it or get one printed out. So yeah, um, I think they are 18 by 9J. Um, I have another one outside that um, I'm not sure what the size is as well because uh, the stickers are no longer there. And yeah, I did not buy this LMG Z4. They were given to me together with the set that I bought from the previous owner and you guys are probably wondering why only two. So they used to belong on his um, Skyline R32 GTR. Unfortunately he had a really bad accident and the whole passenger side was a total loss. So, oh, for you guys in the States, um, that would be your driver's side because where I'm from, we only drive right hand drive cars. So, yeah. Um, so, only the driver's side survived. Uh, that's why we have two Nismo MGT4s. He couldn't remember if he bought a squared or a staggered setup, so I have to do some measurements with the other rim as well to find out. So, yeah. I think I'll be removing the tires because um, 
he had that accident back in 2011 and that's a really long time ago so the tires are way past their age and I have no use for them so yeah they could be I don't know display pieces at home or I might use one of them as a spare wheel in the trunk of my S13 uh, in case I ever get a flat so I guess that's that for this rims um, so right now I'm gonna show you guys the dream set of wheels that I got And here they are. Nismo LMG T2s and 17 inches because that's the face I want. I didn't want the 18 inch, I wanted the 17 inch. And they are five by 114.3. Um, they are totally original, uh, never been touched. They've been used of course. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've seen some age and some scuff on the barrels and stuff. But yeah, these are my dream set of rims. Took me long enough to find them, but I managed to get them for a steal. Plus, I got two extra Elm GT4s out of the deal. So yeah, um, they are 17 by 8 j um, plus 36 offset if I remember correctly because um, the, the stickers on the barrels, they were totally gone. Uh, previous guy wanted to restore them, but um, as you know, he crashed the R32 GTR. So they've been sitting in his storeroom for years actually. So how I actually managed to find the set of rims is, um, I was scrolling through ads on the internet and randomly I would just hit up people um, I have this spirit of like not giving up so I found this ad and it was listed four and a half years ago so I was telling myself mm, that could definitely I mean there's no chance that this room was still around but for some reason, I decided to text the guy to check if he by any chance to have those rims lying around. So I texted the guy, um, a couple hours later he replied like, yeah man, I still got that set of rims, they're lying in the storeroom right now. So, um, and then I asked him if he was interested to sell them and he said yeah. So he gave me a price, I immediately agreed and he was like, sure, why not come down this weekend, um, I'll, I'll, I'll dig it out of the storeroom um, and we could do that. Um, but I was too eager, I, I didn't want to let a deal like this slip, especially when it seems too good to be true. So I was like, um, are you free right now? I'll drive down an hour to your place, help you dig it out of the storeroom and then I'll pay you on the spot. And he's like, um, if you could get here before 12 midnight, deal. And I was like, sure. Uh, bear in mind, it was like about 10, 20 at night. And I had about an hour and a half drive to get to his place. I'm um, factoring the traffic and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I immediately went down. I didn't have time to clear my back seat, my boot, and the S13. I just shot straight down to his place, um, help him dig it out from his storeroom, and yeah, so we have this set of rims right now. They are awesome. I'm definitely gonna be um, dismantling the faces of the barrels. Uh, I'll see if I can sandblast this myself. Otherwise, I'll have to find a shop where I'm at to help me sandblast them. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be rebarreling them to a specification that I want on my car. So definitely going to be an, a video about this, a uh, separate video. It won't be anytime soon because I've got to save up for all these mods. So yeah. Um, oh. Uh, for those of you guys that are wondering if they came with the Rays sensor cap, they do. Um, give me a sec. 
So these here, they are the center cap. Complete set of center caps. Um, they do have the common problems where um, a few of the legs have um, broken off, but they have all the center clips to lock them in place. They're all here. Um, they're in fair condition, I would say. Probably could use a new coat of paint. Um, I have the um, valve stems here as well, but I'm definitely gonna, not going to be reusing them because um, the rubber seal has perished. Um, it's been years, so yeah. Um, from what I understand, the LMGT2 valve stems, they're a little bit different from normal valve stems. So I have to do a little bit more research um, to see which valve stems would fit the ribs. Uh, so yeah, so but uh, you guys out there know which valve stems I could use because I was reading up something like um, probably one of the raised one could work, uh, but uh, some other brands couldn't or something. So yeah, if you guys know what valve stems I could use for the LMGT twos, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Um, greatly appreciate it and stuff. So yeah. Um, I think I have one more thing I could probably show in this video uh, before I end it and it's right in front right here um, so okay this I know I, I know what it is I haven't unwrapped it yet so uh, for those of you guys that watch the Nismo unboxing part 2 if I remember correctly where I showed the type X tail lamps yeah, these are parts for the Type X tail lamps that I'm going to be working on. So, uh, put your guesses down below in the comments what I'm going to be doing before I show this to you guys. So, here, I have a couple of sets of LED rings. So, I'm going to be trying to convert um, the uh, tail lights from bulbs to LEDs, I want to give them a more, um, they, they kind of look too deep in the day when you, when I press on the brake, um, I'm a little bit afraid that people can't really see the brake lights, so I wanted a little bit, I want a brighter bulb, but I decided to go with LEDs, so my main goal was to convert those into LEDs, and I'm gonna try to get them to look as OEM as possible. So yeah, stay tuned for a video on that. I'm actually waiting for another set um, to come before I start on those. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm so excited. I finally got my dream wheels here with me and I can't wait to work on them. So yeah. Thank you for staying with me. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.